because I've been on YouTube and still ha nothing has changed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my four year celebration of being on YouTube. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube and I think it's time for me to go through all the things that's been happening and uh, everything that's been going through. So I started YouTube back in 2013, 2013 to be exact. And when I first did YouTube, I was currently a stock of logs, pretty much. I didn't know how to do YouTube. I was basically a live streamer who didn't know what to do. But I had friends on the way who helped me. And, and during this time, I didn't seem to know what my big issue with uh, YouTube was. Like, I was really into it. Like, I really got used to it. But what really got in the way of it was my family. And I couldn't seem to do anything about it. So, pretty much, it was summed up to me that I had to do current uploads, like, every like daily some videos that are short because i couldn't do like certain videos that were like uh very long because a lot of times those videos do not go that far up and most importantly a lot of those videos people do not have time to watch like for some weird reason a lot of people do not have enough time to watch my videos and i think it's time for me to actually like set up the schedule and tell you guys what the schedule is going to be so here's the schedule so basically what's going to be happening is i'm going to be eh, uploading every single time at 6.30. If I don't upload at 6.30, that means I'm gonna be uploaded, uploading later 9.30. And that means that I'm not gonna be doing like any type of edits. Like I'm gonna be doing edits during the weekend. I'm not gonna be doing edits during the weekdays because since I'm gonna be in school and all the work is gonna be doing during night, I can't seem to do anything about it. So pretty much it's gonna be a supplement of uh, uploading and the supplement of doing schoolwork, so it will be hard for me to actually do certain uploads but um anyways let's get back to the main topic of uh this video so um what basically happened was the fact that um my channel went void and i didn't know what to do so pretty much i just had to delete the channel and start new and um when i got back on the channel when i first did my channel i did all sorts of games and i had fun and one video had 1k views and that was a reaction video that I originally did. That's when I had to delete my like channel because a lot of people wasn't watching my videos. Like I didn't get paid, um, things were changing, like the copyright strikes were getting worse. Like I couldn't do anything because I had to get rid of my channel. So what I had to do was to uh, change everything around, uh, start organizing my videos. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to do to get everything back on track. And yeah, that's basically how everything just started. Now I'm currently here right now, not on the uh, 100 subscriber mark. And I know it's really hard for me to do that right now. And uh, I can understand that it will be a struggle for me to get back up to originally where I was. But understand guys, it's gonna be a really struggle, really, what am I saying? It's gonna be a really hard struggle to get back to that huge mark when I get back to it like when I get back on track on 300 subscribers it will be tough because it will be slow but also pretty much worth it on uploads so without any case guys um here's a gameplay of when I went 38 and 18 on team deathmatch and fringe now guys when I first did this gameplay I didn't think that this was gonna happen and plus I messed up my commentating and as you guys can see I missed a quad Scythe, and it was suckish and none other than that I could not believe I missed it like it was one hit marker away from him dying towards his feet all the way down to his grave I could have at least had him but unfortunately it didn't work so I just got a Cerberus instead so everything went well in that game but uh pretty much our team just lost in general so uh yeah, my team just basically sucked. And look at that. They were just camping and everything like that. And I couldn't do anything about it. I've been trying to, like, move up and just try to stay forward. But I have been getting killed so many times. I can't do anything in that situation. So, really, I had no other choice but to play, like, a caper. I couldn't do anything about it. Like, really, 
outrageously dumb on how I have to like do certain uploads like that. It sucks, to be honest with you. It sucks. And knowing that, I would have done a little bit worse on my um, certain videos that I've done before. But really, I've actually upgraded my videos by doing Sony Vegas. And it's really changing my life right now. Because um, when I first did my videos on Sony Vegas, it really changed me. Like, other people have started actually watching my videos and seeing my content. And it realized, it, I realized that it wasn't, like, that outrageous. Like, it wasn't changing enough. Like... And currently, I really couldn't actually, like, fix everything in life. Like, I couldn't get that many likes or anything like that. But still, I had enough time to, like, get enough videos and uh, get enough views to actually do the more subscriber tents. And a lot more times I've done the more subscribers, the more I've actually increased viewers. And the viewers have actually, like, watched and experienced my videos. So pretty much, it's a little bit easier. And I get these comments from my videos. And a lot of people have really loved my videos. So pretty much, I've done a little bit better for myself and for the sake of the YouTube community. So honestly, I think it's best if I keep going on uploads. So I will keep uploading no matter what happens. I will keep on uploading. And that was a bad shot, by the way. But uh, other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye. Oh,